Welcome back. Today, we're going to start a new video. Um, and this is kind of a new project that I'm working on. And this is one that I want to pay tribute to my brother. Uh, he's, I don't mean that in the sense that he's not around or anything. It's just he's got this punch that he made when he was in high school. So I wanted to recreate his punch that he made in high school. And I think I'm going to do two of them and give him back his original um, and see if we can recreate this as close as possible. Um, this will be a good challenge. It's got some knurling to do. It's got a few different widths and steps um, to uh, meet. Um, none of this has to be precision, but I do want to set some diameters. I'm going to draw it out. Set some my diameters to try to teach myself how to meet um, different diameters using my micrometer, make sure I measure, and start to learn to use this lathe in a sense where I can start to hit some precision measurements as I'm turning down. Let me mount you up in the tripod. So I know you're sideways now, but uh, anyway, the idea here is to try to recreate this punch um, that he made, and he actually uh, hardened it uh, in high school. Um, you can see the discoloring on it. Uh, it's kind of blued, but I would like to, you know, I don't have a torch or anything like that. I do have a, a handheld butane torch, but it, I don't know that I can get anything red hot, but I'm going to try to, I don't know if I'll be able to harden it, but I am going to try to blue it with some oil. So do some hot bluing in high school. So, uh, again, this may not be a truly functional hardened tip. I mean, I suppose we could some, someday harden the tip of it to make it a little more functional. But, but for today, it's really just about learning to use more of the, the lathe, using the knurling tool to knurl down this, uh, the back piece, um, kind of using, figuring out order of operations. Because I think, you know, getting the knurl on first would probably be my best bet using the live, uh, the live center, use the centering bit in order to stabilize it. So when I knurl this, it will, I want to, I want to get a good diamond pattern and not this. It's like, I'm not getting a diamond pattern on the, on the knurls that I've practiced with yet, but you know, that, that's what this video is going to be about. I think I'm going to use this, this material here. Um, just cut two sections off of it, and um, that's going to be the start of this video. Um, anyway, this video is going to be making a center punch, or a, a punch, not a center punch, but a punch, um, and be as close a representation of the punch that my brother made back when he was in high school in a metal shop. So, um, I'm going to pause the video here and get set up for some more operations. First thing I'm going to do is the overall length of this is five and a quarter inch. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but I think we'll try to hit five and a quarter. So I, with all the turning and the center drilling, I'm going to cut two six inch sections of stock. And that way I, I can do a center, a center drill, center holes on each end if I need to turn them around and and get them uh, to use. I think I'm only going to need one center hole on one end um, as I chuck it up, and then eventually I'll just probably chuck this side up and be able to finish turning this down. Um, because this is so long, I may actually put a center drill on this end and then part it off when I, I can chuck it up way high, part it off, and then put my angle on. So again, this is about learning order of operations when you're making a part that make the most sense, as well as figuring out how to use knurling and uh, learning, you know, improving my center drill bit on the tailstock, using a live center, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna start with a six inch piece that gives me three quarters of an inch on either end to play with, and we'll go from there. So first thing we'll do is mark off six inches of this material. Go with this end here. Roughly, there's six inches there. 
and we'll do another six. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Doesn't have to be exact because I'm going to be turning it down. There's another six. And those are going to be the pieces that I want to cut off. Um, again, I'm going to go back to the hacksaw because that's what I got. And uh, we'll continue on. We got those cut out so here's the two parts that I'm gonna start with gives me plenty of material on either side to to you know to turn down and put some center holes in the end so I can use a live center and uh, these are my starting pieces this will be some extra for another project another day then in the pile there we go so the only thing that I think I'm gonna change on this is although I'm gonna turn this down to clean it up, I'm gonna make the the fat portion of this, the knurled end, bigger. I'm gonna make it about a half inch. This is half inch material. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the liberty of making the neural portion larger on the new ones. Otherwise, I'm gonna turn down these other portions proportionately. I may leave I take that back. I'll leave this, these two portions, all these dimensions the same, but this top I'm gonna to leave uh, bigger so it's got more surface area to, you know, if you need to pound on it, because it will mushroom over. As you can see, his is already mushrooming over a little bit. So anyway, that's the start of this project. Um, I'll bring you back. Probably won't finish this today, but you know, this will be uh, kind of a little project and a, uh, you know, a nice recreation homage to my brother. Welcome back. I'm going to continue on with the, the recreation of my brother's punch. Um, so if you recall, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I started that uh, intro to that video, but uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to continue this on, um, but the first thing I'm going to do in order to to try an attempted knurl where I actually have a diamond pattern, I'm gonna put a center, uh, drill a center hole here, and that way I can bring it out and get some rigidity for when I'm trying to uh, knurl this piece. Um, I'm not sure how hard this material is. Um, it's probably too hard to knurl, I don't know, but I mean, it, the, the file does bite. This isn't a hardness file, but it does bite. So we're going. To... So we're going to continue on and try to try to get this thing knurled, um, and that's going to be the first operation I'm going to do. Put a center hole in, bring it out, and we're going to uh, knurl it and see how that turns out. 
So let me grab my drill chuck and the centering bit and my live center I will need. We'll get this out of the way. up clean some of this off of here since it came out might as well all right first thing we're gonna do is bring this out about there let's find a, a centering bit I'm gonna try a bigger center bit this time I don't need to go in too far but I still got that one I broke maybe I'll use that one it's not bigger let's go ahead and use that since if you recall this is the one that I broke the end on in one of my earlier videos I'm gonna use the other side and we're gonna attempt a drill in a center hole in this material so we'll get this in here. Make sure my cutting flute is vertical. Pretty sure somebody mentioned that. Grab my key. Tighten that down. There we go. And then get this brought up. And with any luck, we will, I don't know if you recall from previous, I actually had some success. So let's get this locked into place. With any luck, I'm gonna be able to get that drilled out. So let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. use a little bit of cutting oil. Let's get this spinning. Put that in there. Let's see what happens. Go slow. Like it's cutting well. I like it. I'm not getting any play on my drill, my jaw chuck. I'm going to go. I don't think I need to go any deeper. Clean this off. Like I said, I've been having a little bit more success. I think I finally got this thing working. And this should fit in there so I can put some rigidity on there. I won't need it on the other side, so I'm not going to flip it over, but I'm going to do the other piece now. So let's Take that out of here. Show you. That'll work, I think. Grab the other piece. Put that over there, bring this back. that into place and let's get this spinning.
little touch of oil. Got it a little bit loose from from when I loosened it up. It, there is a this is too deep, so let's bring that back out. There we go. There we go. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Turn that down, brush these off. Look at that, I finally get in the hang of cutting center holes. Put this out of the way. Take this out. And again, there we go. So, I guess I didn't need to take it out because I'm going to be gnarling, but uh, there we go. So, let's clean that one up. Put this other one in. I've already marked where I want to knurl to. Just about there should cover it. Again, I'm going to turn most of this down. So, I'm just going to knurl all the way to that mark and we'll see how it goes wish me luck um get this cleaned off i'm gonna pause you here and i'll bring you right back okay here's the setup i've got everything's kind of tight but uh i think it's gonna work there's clearance i'm not gonna hit anything here i've got this all tightened up my tail stock's tightened up i've got my workpiece out and supported with my live center and I'm ready to try knurling again. Um, this material it does bite with a file, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how good we can do. It'll either turn out or not. Again, this isn't, you know, this is just for fun, but uh, hopefully I can get a decent knurl on there to somewhat mimic the finish that my brother had. Um, now it's not cleaned up. Perhaps I should clean it up first. Uh, but this first piece, I'm just going to run with it and see what it looks like. Uh, and then I can clean it up and we can do it again. But let's see what happens. I'm going to use some lube, get this up, and uh, we're going to crank it in and run it across. We'll see what happens.
make a few more passes. I'm gonna call that neural. Or this I'm not unhappy with that. Huh. That turned out. Let's get this wiped off. Cleaned up a little bit. Leaves a big mess on this steel. A lot of fine shavings. Turn that off since I got a rag. up and bring you in here compare I'm not displeased look at that that neural turned out all right there's a nice diamond pattern here's the original all right Plenty of neural to work with. Let's see, get you some close up looks of that. I'm pretty pleased. That's my first real neural that I've actually done. It's got a good grip to it. Okay, on to the next one. I got one more of these to do. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now let me, I need to mark how far I wanna go in. not critical because I'm going to turn it down anyway, but leave enough out that I can work with it. Snug it up. And let's do the second one over here bring that in made kind of a mess before I'm gonna clean look at that this does leave a big giant mess so if you're going to ever get into knurling or any of that, be prepared. But it's one of the things that you're going to want to do if you get into this hobby. Okay, so I'm going to pause you here, take a short break, and then we'll get on to this one. All right, welcome back. I got you set up here. I'm going to back this off a little bit. We're gonna get going, we're gonna knurl the second piece, and that will be the 
first operation that I, I wrote down, I wrote a order of operations I wanted to do in order to make this punch. I'm trying to learn that aspect as well. I'm sure I'll miss a step here again. These are, that's only my third or fourth project, but trying to learn how to do order of operations, um, proper techniques. I'm never, you know, everybody's learning, right? I'm still learning. Just go easy on me. I'm, I'm trying my best, uh, but I'm doing knurling. This is hard material. I know brass or aluminum will be much better to start with, but I'm making a punch. I need something hard. So I'm giving it a shot. We're gonna see if it works. First one turned out really well. Let's see what the second one does. call that done that sure does make a, a big mess look at this all that metal shavings and dust coming off of there but other than this end this isn't too bad over here let's get that out of here i'm gonna turn this off done with that for now back this out get this out of the way let's get this out of here Clean it up. Just get this wiped off. I don't have any solvent or anything like that, so this is where it's going to be. Cleaned up. And there's our second one. So down here, it's really not too bad. Up here is a little bit cross hatched. Some of that will be turned down off of there because of, uh, you know, the tip that's on the end. But for the most part, uh, I'll get that cleaned up. It's not too bad. It's not great. <laughs> the first one turned out better. There's the first one. There we go. I'm gonna bring you back here. I think I might break this video apart. It's gonna take me a while. I got other videos I'm working on. I'm communicating with uh, Dave on some different things. And uh, I just kinda of wanna break up this video into a few parts that I'm making for my recreation here of this punch. Um, so today I'm gonna to stop at describing the project. That was the beginning here. Explaining how I'm gonna go about it. The material I'm gonna use and some of the steps I'm gonna take. I took some liberties, I'm gonna make it a little bigger in some areas. But first thing I wanted to do was get a center hole drilled so that I could use my live center and put in some knurls, to, you know, practice doing some knurling. And I think these turned out okay. Um, they're gonna be good enough for what they have for. This first one turned out better, but I'm happy with that. So there's the start of what will be 
recreated punch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next part.